Hey there, it's Ben Hassel here, and here in this tutorial, we're gonna have a look at three tips for zooming in and zooming out of your timeline to save a ton of time. So without further ado, we're gonna dive in, have a look at these three tips, and hopefully these will be as useful for you as they have been for me. So here in this quick tutorial, we're gonna share three tips for zooming in and zooming out of your timeline. So the first one is, is that um, whenever you zoom in, you're gonna zoom in on the playhead, uh, first and foremost, if that's highlighted on the timeline. So if I use the shortcut Command and Plus, that is gonna zoom me in and command and minus will zoom me out. However, if I have scrubbing turned on, uh, which we will turn on over here in the right of our screen, then basically the red scrubber bar will override where the white playhead is. So if I do command and plus, you can see we're zooming in and out of where that scrubber bar is. So if we place the playhead here, we're gonna zoom in and zoom out of that location but if I place the scrubber bar at the beginning here and zoom in and zoom out, we're gonna zoom in and zoom out of that location. The second shortcut is super useful. Uh, when you're zoomed in on a really long timeline, then Shift and the shortcut Shift and Z will zoom you to fit the whole timeline. This will also work um, in our viewer here when we're playing things back. So if I'm zoomed in on my uh, screen here, we'll see this little red box which allows us to navigate around the, the screen. But if we do Shift and Z here as well, the red box will disappear and we'll also zoom to fit uh, that screen as well. The final shortcut I'm gonna share with you here is Shift, Command, and plus minus. And that will zoom the height of your timeline. So you can see here, the height of the timeline is getting smaller uh, or larger if I do Command and Shift and plus. So basically there's three tips for zooming in and zooming out of the timeline. Um, they're super useful, I use them all the time. It's gonna save you a lot of time navigating around your timeline. If you do like to use uh, some of the menu options, then those same zoom options are available in this little button on the right-hand side here where we can do the same thing. So we can zoom in, we can zoom out, and also we can zoom the height of our clips as well as managing the display options of our clips as well. So hopefully you find this useful. If you have any questions or requests for tips and tricks in Final Cut Pro 10, then please do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.